Ready? Where? Ready or not? <clears throat> Good morning. With the help of Hashem, we are learning today's three Prakim Rambam, Hilchai Seirev, and Prakim Gimel, Dalid, and Hey. Beginning with Pede Gimel. Pede Gimel is going to be dealing with the following scenario. When you have two Chatzedos that have a passageway that connects one to the other, we're going to learn in certain scenarios, the passageway makes both Chatzedos into one Chatzed, and everyone from both Chatzedos must make one Eruv. We're going to learn scenarios where the passageway is halachically not considered the passageway, and therefore they may not join together. And we're going to learn cases where they have the option, they can opt whether to join together or whether to keep two separate Eruve Chatzeros. Pede Gimel has 25 halachas, beginning with halacha alf. Chaloin shebein shtei chatzeros. If there is a window in between two courtyards, im yesh by arba atvachem ala batvachem o yoyser al sem. If it's wide and tall, you understand, four by four tvachem or more, and and it was within 10 Tvachim from the ground, explains the Rambam when he says within, it means, even if the majority of it is above 10, but some of the lowest part of the window is within 10, or the opposite, and some of it is above 10. In other words, if any part of this window is within, under 10 Tvachim from the ground, says that Rambam, this is a scenario that if they want to join together and if they were to do so, then everyone can carry from their house into their chatzar, through the window, into the neighboring chatzar, into any one of those houses as well. Why? Because we're going to consider the window as a Pesach, as a door. But if they want, it's not a breach between the walls. They are not one chatzir. They can keep each one to their own. However, in contrast, if the size of the window is less, it's not a full four by four. Or even if it was four by four, but all of it was above ten tfachim, which means only with difficulty or only with a ladder, which is not there now. Will you, will you be able to go from one to the other? Then it must be and they may not combine Now you got the toichen of the whole chapter. There's going to be very interesting cases here. It's a very complex pedic, but that's the toichen of the whole pedic. However, meaning it's, it's outdoors. It's in the wall. Abol if there's a window that connects two homes, now guys understand, if you remember from the Gemara, the rule that a baisa kaman the mal yadami. Whenever there's a roofed area, we view it, and sometimes, as if it's full all the way to the roof because people actually can take their home and make it into a storage house. And if you were to pack things in there, it's not subject to the rain or to the sun, then the floor can go higher. Dear the din is, or, if you have a window, even if it's a window that's horizontal, it's a window between your ceiling, you open it up, and you go into the roof. They are, they have the option to join in one Eruv. Even if there isn't currently a ladder, as long as the size of the window remains four by four. In other words, any room that has a roof, we view that room as if it is full so whatever the window is, if it has the arba'a, by arba'a, it's always halachically within ten tfachim of the ground. Whether this is in between two homes or whether it is between two yards and the halayin has some of it, but what happens if it's round? So here the rule is, if you can place a square in the circle, that's the key, then we view it and if that square would be four by tvachim, by four tvachim, then it has the din, kibiru, halacha three. If you have a wall or a matbein, that means you have a mound of hay that separates two yards. If the entire wall, 
the top of the wall is not ten tefachim. The mound that's being used as a separation between the bichatseiros are not even ten tefachim tall. Then you must be ma'arav together. Here it's not optional. Ma'arav in eidu bechad. The ein ma'arav in shnayim. Appreciate this. That means that if one person in the, in both of these chatzedes doesn't join, as we learned yesterday, you know you're going to have to do bittul rishus. But without that, it ruins it for everyone. The moment the wall is ten, not higher than ten, ten and or higher, then you must ma'arav in shnayim. We're speaking about if there's no window nor door, that's considered a wall. If the wall is 10 tvachim tall or taller, but you have now a ladder on each side, that renders it as if there is a Pesach, and once there is a door, that's what the first thing we learned today, a door is gavaldic, a door is not a breach, as we'll learn later. A door is no wall. A door is a wall with a, with a Pesach. So you have the option. If they want, they can join together. If the, even if the ladder is a straight up, what's the problem with a straight up ladder, guys? A straight up ladder, if it's not adhered to the wall, you can't climb up a straight up ladder. You'll have to put the legs further away to put it on an incline. So even if it's not on the incline, Still, the fact that the ladder is there, even though you have to manipulate it a little bit, it's considered as if it's affixed properly. Matir is not machayif. If you want, you can join together. Even if the top of the ladder doesn't reach the top of the wall. But it's within three tvachim from the top of the wall. Then it's matir. Then it's matir. Okay, great. Now, if the top of the wall is thick for tfachim wide, in other words, with ease, can a person walk on top of the wall? Guys, we're going to learn today in the later program. What happens, we already mentioned that in Elcha Shabbos, when there is one Rishos, that two of its neighbors have equal access to it. We're going to learn how that makes it problematic we're going to learn more about that later. But here, just focus on this one part. If the top of the wall is white for Tfachim, and Vaasal Sulamikan, Vasulamikan, in other words, since you can easily walk on top of the wall, I don't even need to have the two ladders exactly opposite each other to make it into a door or a window, even if one is here and one is there. The fact that when you come to the top of the wall, you can walk across the top of the wall because it's white for Tfachim or more. Afa Pisha, Salam, Zerhagazam, Izam. We're not talking about whether you can use the top of the wall. I'm going to learn about that later. That means it's as if the wall, the ladders are opposite one to the other. But if the, the width of the top of the wall is not four tefachim wide, they don't mamash have to be exactly opposite each other, but if they're only off less than three, then because of Lavud Ma'arv and Echad, then they must be Ma'arv too. Because it's not a window, it's not a door. Ah, you can krich on top of the wall. No, no, that's the halach. You need four tfachim or more to comfortably walk on top of it. Now, halach eh, bana matseva al gabe matseva metzada koisa. You built prior to Shabbos some sort of platform not a ladder, it's a platform. And on top of the platform, you built another platform. In other words, you built one location adjacent to the wall, which facilitates your standing near the wall. And maybe from the top of the top platform to the top of the wall, you don't have 10 tvachim. So it says that I'm like this. If the bottom platform is for tvachim wide, so then even if the top one is not, that's a bona fide step, like a stepping. So then we say, Mema'et. Mema'et means that you measure from the top of the top platform to the top of the wall. And if it's less than 10 tvachim, that means there is no wall. Obviously, you need that from both sides. But then there is, like we learned before, if you don't have a wall, halachi gimel, that's pachos masada, you must be ma'arav together. Ein betachtoin arba, if the bottom one doesn't have four tvachim, but... The ain bein all the bein all yoinish loisha, but between the bottom one and the top one, you don't even have three tefachim, and you have to add 
that the top platform, the top Matzebo, also doesn't have four. But since they're very near each other, guys, think about it. The rungs of a ladder are four Tvachim. No. It just, it's very easy to climb up the ladder. So even if the size of the bottom one is not stark, but if going from the bottom one to the top one is easy because the top one is very close one to the other. Also, you measure from the top. But not you measure from the top and if it has less than 10, it's kilo, there's no wall. It gives you the option. And In other words, if the bottom one has four by four, that's the best. Even if it doesn't have four by four, then we will look to see whether there's three tfachim or not. I'm just curious to know in the standard ladder whether every rung is within three tfachim or not. But don't forget, by a ladder, it's not about just the size of the rung. Since you have two side posts, which you don't have in this case, that also makes it a lot easier for you to go up or to go down. Next. If you have a wall between two yards, this is, let's call this a sill. Like a windowsill. Here it's not a windowsill. You just have a protrusion that's going out from the middle of it. So here again, guys, think about it. How do you climb up a wall? If you have such a sill, it's it's almost like a ladder. You can climb up. So if Nisha Minaziz Adresha Koisel less than 10, all you need is Mazia Maniach Sulam Lifne Haziz. If there is a ladder in front of this protrusion, in front of this sill, you get it? Then you consider the bottom of the wall the ziz. But again, it gives you the option. But if you don't put this, the ladder on it, so here's, here's the protrusion. The ladder is not here. The ladder is here. It has to be lined up. Has to be lined up. Then If the wall is 19 tfachim and you have the ziz that's going out from the middle, which means, my friends, it's less than 10 from the bottom to the ziz. It's less than 10 from the ziz to the top. We just said that the ladder, a ladder were to help. So we're saying that if it's if, if, if from the from the ground until the ziz, you don't even have 10, you don't even need a ladder. Exactly. So now again, when it comes to a ladder, there are two side posts. If you want to say that the two zizin allows you to climb up from one to the other, in the beginning of Allah Hey, we were learning about two platforms there. The bottom platform is larger than the top one. It's broader. It's, it's deeper. So again, it's like stairs. Here, every ziz has exactly the same size. So it's much harder to climb up. So here we dafka don't want them to be aligned. We want them to be like this. So you can climb up. You're walking up on the side as if it is a ladder. It's a lot of common sense. So the shneizism zeh that it should be zeh shuloi can eged zeh. Actually, yeah, being ziz atach on the beino aritz pachas masor. As long as you have less than ten from the bottom onto the ground, ubein aziz al yinun until the top of the wall less than ten, and because they're not one under the other, it's relatively easier to climb up these zizim. This gives you the option if you want to be ma'arif together. You don't know it's not like there's no wall, but it's like a pesa halacha zayin dekel shechat tochay. So you have a date palm, but it's not mochuber lekarka, which is very important, even though we'll see later that uh, even though climbing a tree is us and midrabanan, we'll see how this will affect the Nameirvin. will be lenient. But here we're speaking about, there's no Isra the Rabbanan, you're not, you're not being mishtamish be'ilid. It's cut off the ground. Right, it's inclined. Wow. Because a date palm, you have to know every tree is different. It's like a ladder. It's inclined. It's relatively easy to climb up that. No, no, no. It's cut off. Even if the connected will see some. Now, the ain't look of the being. And the key here is since it's very heavy, you don't have to fix it. And by the way, the Ramam says the same thing with the ladder. Now, the Ramam doesn't define how much it has to weigh, but any ladder that's called a heavy ladder, we say that its weight makes it as if it's a fix. If you have a divider that's made out of straw, which means that even if you were to lean a ladder on it, if you add the ladder and the weight of a human being, you start climbing up, the whole wall is going to collapse. So the din is, Even if the wall is strong enough to hold to, to keep the ladders, 
without the wall collapsing from the weight of the ladder, but to add to that a human being, there's no more wall. And similarly, you have a ladder in the middle and it's leaning, guys, it's leaning on something heavy. That means there's a little strip of something stuck that the ladder can lean on. And the remaining of the wall from both sides, it's made out of something very, uh, very insignificant. Since the Poyal Mamish, if you were to climb up the ladder, it would not collapse the wall because it's leaning on a beam, then it's good. Then it's like a Pesach, and the Pesach creates this halacha that Imrat Zuma Arv and Shnayim. You know, if you want, halacha, halacha ches. Now, Danny is a non uh, cut off a tree, a tree that's connected. And people use this tree like a ladder. If you want, you can be out of together. I halachically, you may not use it. Says that Rambam, since the isur shusu shagodim shelo yala beilan, and don't forget, guys, that we're eight of us also a need only midrabanan. You understand that? So we can be very lenient. However, that's only if the isur would be only midrabanan. But if the tree is an ashera tree, which one midoy rice and may not derive benefit thereof. You do have a wall that's tall and twachim or taller. For example, you want to make a pile of dirt on the ground right near the wall. So, like this, when you come to the wall, the rest of the chutzir is, is is low, but you're building a little slope up. How how wide does that? Tail of karka have to be. If you made it, oirech means I would call this wide, but it's going on the length of the wall, the width of the wall is the thickness of the wall. So if it's four tfachim, like we had also regarding that step, oh, that's already considered a nice large step. What happens in another case? The wall is very thick, guys, and I am. The, I'm taking, I'm chipping the top of the wall down, but I didn't chip it down from both sides. I only chipped it down from my side. So then, see the hakatzer noisnan oisay lochatzer zu. So as again, we're going to learn later these questions of when you have three to show yourself. Aleph base and gimel. Aleph made an eruv, base made an eruv, and then there is a rishus gimel, and this rishus gimel is used by aleph and base. If Aleph and Beis did not make an Eid of together, then you cannot go to Gimel. Here, only focusing on this detail, the part of the wall that's lower than 10 is used a lot easier by the guys of that side than the guys on the other side. So they're not the chiseling the wall down only from one side is effective that we give that part of the wall. Belongs to two chatseiros, and the Ramam is not telling you right now what that means. So again, I'm going to leave this concept of, like we said, two chatseiros are using a third property, they are acid to one or the other. Then it didn't affect anything because the wall was still 10 twachim tall. The only thing you accomplished is regarding this din. Halacha 10. If I'm happy with these pictures, you know, if you would have as an art scroll, and the Ramam will be a machai. Is like a Masechus Edom, and it's very easy. Then, I mean, you have, if you see the picture, you get the case. If the wall was breached, so here you go. What's the question? The question is, what did we learn until now? I'll tell you one Nakuda. If there is a Pesach, you have an option, but you're not Chayiv to do it together. But if the wall is breached, so if the Pirzah was up until 10 Amas, so then you may keep them separate. Of course, you may do it together. It's like the window. But the moment it's more than 10 Ames, not 10 Tvachim, not a Sora, Eser, now that's called no more wall. And you're Mechuyev, Ma'arvin Erev Echad, Ma'arvin Shneiru. Lachi Yudal, if the Pirzah Pachas Ma'eser, if the Pirzah is less than 10, Obala Hashlim Ali Eser Ma'eser, for whatever reason, you want to make these two Chatzedes into one, so you want to broaden this breach. So, Choykeg Bakoysel Goiva Asara Tvachim Ma'arvin Echad, I gave him one of a picture that would be amazing. So what I need to do is, let's say I have to broaden it, guys, for one more ama. I don't have to broaden it one ama from the bottom all the way to the top. Even if I only chiseled out the lowest 10 tfachim, so it's broader than 10, not completely, 
But only from 10 Tvachim down, if you were to go there, you have to bend down. That's fine. That's called a breach. Then Ma'ad bin Eid of Echad means you must make one Eid of because you don't have two, you don't have a wall anymore. Now, the Imbal Lifritz Lechatchila, if the Koisel is Sasum, if the Koisel is completely broken and you want to make a Pirza more than 10, then you have to make the whole thing in its entirety. Unlike in the beginning of Allah Yudalit, you already have a large Pirza in its entirety. You only need to be mash limit. So the hashlama only has to be in the lowest ten tefach. Allah Yud base. Guys, you don't have a wall. The opposite direction. There is a trench in the ground. Same, let's go to the same concept. If the trench is 10 tvachim deep or more, and on top of that, the width means for you to be able to jump across. It's four tvachim. So you, you, it, going over, I know four tvachim is not that much. You got to look what you're doing. You can fall in there. Then that is mamish like a wall. And therefore you must... You must make two Eruvim, not optional. Pachos Mikan, either that there isn't 10 Tvachim deep, or it's not four Tvachim above, then you must Ma'ar ben Echad, because it's one Chatz and Be'em Ma'ar ben Shnai. Now, same thing. What happens if it was deep, but you filled it up? Filled it up with what? So here's the question. If you fill it up with items that you might remove later, it's not called filled in. If you fill it up with ba'afar of its you're mavata libir. Then ma'ar v'nechad ne'ar v'shnaim. Because shistam offer of its dirt and pebbles, b'chad it's muvotalanim. But if you fill it up with teven or kash, which normally you'll keep to your animals, even though it's there, e'na mamayit atshe yevatel. And we learned in the Gemara, my friends, that bitl here does not need to be done with dibur. Bitalir is enough that if the person threw that straw with a kavana, no, this I'm leaving here. Now you don't have a wall down. You don't have the chrit. So now you become one chutz and you must be ma'arif together. That was the picture came out before. You didn't change the dimensions of the chritz, but you put a plank, like a bridge, right? Or bekana. What about something that you could put and you could remove like a basket or like a cup? If not, it's not considered a proper plank or a pro- or proper diminution in any way. In other words, what did we learn? Offer, bottle automatically. Tevin or cash, it's up to your intention. Kalim, you have to uh, affix it. What happens if your bridge is only four tvachim wide? That's already big enough. So you have now one area where you can cross over. Now, if you want, you may, that was before, Kevin. We already went through that. This one now, now is the bridge picture. Now, you may do it together. If you have two balconies, Opposite one the other, guys, we're going here over the Rishosarabim, two balconies. The same concept, if you make a bridge, even though the width of the bridge is only four Tvachim, this combines these two balconies. If they want, it's like a door. It's not a breach. It's like a door. And if they want, a great picture. They can, they can be Ma'arif together. That, one second. That's if one goes opposite the streets on the Rosh Hashanah. Now, whoever is watching the pictures, now we're learning in the middle of Yadala, the picture that you can see here on the Zoom. If the, both balconies are on the same side, but not on the same height, if the difference between one is higher and one is lower is less than three Tvachim, then they may combine together. But then no, I'm telling you, May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went through this yesterday. Yeah, you schwitzed on this. Okay, hello. Okay, that's the whole thing. Sometimes there's a logic here. Okay, because it's like a Pesach. Once you have a Pesach, that's the beginning of the Pedic. A breach, you have to be out of together. A door, a window gives you the option. If you have a wall between two Chatseris, Shuhu Rachav, it's wide. And it's kavoyim me asar tvachem uchatzer zu. On one hand, on one hand, it's tall ten tvachem, but the shavalakarka chatzer shniyal. But it's aligned 
a line doesn't mean it's mamish ground level. You know, anytime you build on a on a on a, on a, on a mountain, you can have such a scenario. Right. So now, one, like one yard is higher than the other. One yard is higher than the other. Noisnin rachboy livnei So, guys, here is the key. The Rambam begins by speaking about two chatzedos that don't have a pesach. Therefore, they're ma'arif shnayim. Now we're learning about this din. So since they were not ma'arif together, couldn't you carry from your chatzah to the top of the wall? So in a case where tashmishoy is noyach lozeva, kasha lozeva, you give it to the one who has easier access. So the one that has it shave, it will become part of the chatzah. Why? That's the rule. That's the key. Same thing as if it's not a wall, but it's the other direction. If you have a um, trench, so on one side, to go down into the trench, you have to go down a full tent. From the other chatzah, it's shava. Again, shava doesn't mean it's mamash line. Shava means that it's uh, easy or it's less than tent. So the inside of this trench will be a, an extension of the chatzah shava and the rule is the nice and nice and able to me shall have a knock. So look at the Zion, who are quite so strange. She had said this no more me hot said for all you know. If you have a wall, right? It's no more me hot said all you know. Look how ironic. Now we're speaking about not they are both high or both low 10 or less than 10. Here we're speaking about that one hot that has to go up, the other hot that has to go down. It's like a step. It's like a step in between the two. And the concept will be, guys, that zrika going up is harder than going down. And how true is that in life? Going up is harder than going down. So that will be that we'll, we'll use that for the rule. So it's again, it's the ones who have to go down, they, they lower things down with the chain. They have to throw up, and the rule is going up is harder than going down. So he says, Shneim Asurim Boy. Ooh, one second. Let's go like this. In this case, none of them can use it. It's usher to both. It's usher to both. Now there's another. It's considered part of. I take that back. It's now one second. Um, I do want to mention one nuance over here. That the fact that the Ramam is speaking about the isur mi batim is that ayah that what is asur to go from the bias to the chazer to the oivyoy, but something that was only in the chazer and you're only going me chazer to there will be permitted because the Ramam passes like Rab Shimon as we'll see soon. Just to be medayik, we, we didn't. We're going to learn about that later. Don't worry. But just to be, remember that the Ramam only speaks about the isur mi batim. As we'll learn in a moment, that you even without an eruv, you can carry from a chutzir to a gag to a karpeif, as we'll see soon. Halacha yuzay. Shnei batim shebeneim. If you have two houses, that in between them, we spoke about this case yesterday. There's a churba. The churba is a rishus ayachet. Rishus ayachet, not not that it own belongs to one person. It means that it's closed with four walls, so you can carry within it, but it's a separate domain. So in right. In other words, there's no door, guys. There's only a window. That will be the example. So to go in there, you can't just walk in there. So they both have the same difficulty in usage. But if one is able to go in there easily, and the other one can only throw because they don't have a door. They only have a window, so they have to go down. So all right, all right. Let's go back to Tezayin. That, that, that was the word. That even though in the Gemara, Zrika is, is considered harder Tashmish than Shilshul. It's harder to go up than to go down. But in this context, it's both difficult. It's also not easy to go down. That's why we said it's, it's equal access. Equal access, if they don't have, a, if, they, if they were not out of together, each one answers on the other to take from the house onto that property. And that's really, I just want, that's the deal 
of it's also me batim, but not from the chatzeros. Kol gago yisoyim, all of the rooftops of a city, even if one is tall and one is short, which means you, you don't have easy access one to the other. And even to the chatzor, guys, from a chatzor to a gag, you're talking about a tall, you're 10 tfachim at least, or taller. With all of the karpei fais, when we already learned in Olcha Shabbos, a karpei is any outdoor area that was taka encircled. So it's a halachic vishus ayachid. But if it was not made lidira, it's considered a different type of private domain. Shuk vishulin l'shem dira. If it has more than base of you cannot carry them in the Rabbana. But you don't have that measurement. It's, it's, it's 50 by 100 amas or less. With the, with the top of these walls in between chatzeres, with muvois, with a mavoi that has the lechi or the koirah. So guys, this is like a big statement in Olechos Eidov. And Eidov's knee is needed, let me say by heart, first of all, if something began Shabbos in the chatzeres, Stam. Even if no one made an Eruv in that Chatzah, there was no Eruv in Chatzah, you can carry it from one edge of the Chatzah to the other because a Chatzah is a standalone or Shusayach. Eruv in Chatzah is needed for you to be allowed to carry from your house to your Chatzah, from the Chatzah to the house. So an item that began in the house and you want to take it from uh, to, to your Chatzah, that's what the problem is. But if it began in the Chatzah, not only can you carry it in the Chatzah, but you can carry it to any other type of Shusayach other than to another Chatzah. So you can, other to another house, if you can carry it, you can carry it to a gag, he's saying all of the gagos and all of, and all of the chatseris and all of the karpefos and all of the oidiyak islam are considered one nishus. But you know what? You can carry there below eruv if the article that you are carrying when Shabbos came in was not in a home. If an article was in a home, and I made an aid of my friends, so I am allowed to carry it during Shabbos into my chatzir. That article cannot be carried to my neighboring chatzir if I was not out of together. Because it's a keli that belongs to a home. But if the keli did not begin in a home, if the keli began in a chatzir, in any of the chatzirs, in a gag, in any gag in the city, in any kind of, of the city, in any of the on Shabbos you can schnapp it around from one type of Rosh Hashayach to the other. So, for example, when Shabbos came in, this keli was already in my yard. Whether there's an eight of chatzeros in this yard or not, like I mentioned, not only are you allowed to carry it in this in this chatzer proper, because it's a keli shoshavus b'teich chatzer, but I can even take it from the chatzer to the gag or to the reish hakoisel. And I can keep on going to other people's domains. It's not combined physically. There was no aid of made also. We learned about this when it came to bringing a knife. If you remember, I will ask the meal. Okay. If you notice that Ambam never spoke about taking it from a chatzir to a mavoy, same thing. From a chatzir to a mavoy, for that you need to have sheet of mavoys. But other than the bias to the chatzir, or me chatzir lo mavoy, Danny, he never spoke about from a chatzar to a mavi. Take a look. He spoke from a gak to a mavi. From a carp of, you'll see. You, you read, that's why he gave the case. I'm giving, giving you a nuance over here. Yeah, yeah, Danny. Take a look on your test. You, you can carry in a mavi if you're taking it from a gag into the mavi. Or from a carp into the mavi. Never from a chatzar into a mavi. For that, you need to have a shitu. Okay, If when Shabbos came in, the keli was in Abayis. And and I brought it into the Chatzar. Now, so you may not take it to another yard or to another Gag. Or So that's a very big claw over here. 
An Eruf is needed to take something Shashavas Babayas to the Chatzim. If something began in a Chatzim, you can go, this is Shitas Rab Shimon, Mechatzim, Lechatzim, Mechatzim, Legag, Megag, Lekarpev, Mekarpev, Lemavoy, but not Mibayas Lechatzim or Mechatzim Lemavoy. Halacha Chafal. A new case now, guys. Boy Shebein Shtei Chatzeros. And these two Chatzeros did not make an Eruf. That's a great picture. Even though this is the wrong picture, but that's a great picture. Aim. No, 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 Kobe, this is correct. No, 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 very good. Emitun two yards. Ain't mamalan and a Shabbos. You may not feel from it in the Shabbos. Elim kain also a mechitza gavoya sort of tvachim. Unless you make a mechitza that can tvachim tall, kadeshi you call echo, the echo doilim at a shusa. Now, guys, we already learned in Ochma Shabbos something about this mechitza. No, but no, this, that's, not a, that's, not, that's not the correct picture. Um, not, not the correct picture. You know, the, the, var, the Vart is, is that since both of them have access to the bar, if they didn't make an Eruv, so what could we say? If you have three properties, Aleph, Beis, and Gimel, if Aleph and Beis equally have access to Gimel, if Aleph and Beis did not make an Eruv, neither of them can take from Gimel to their property. But when it comes to water, we learn, remember the din of the pipe in Al-Chashavas? You can make a, a, a type of Mechitza that doesn't really divide the water. But it's a hacker type of mechitza, which is mechitza. Where do you make the mechitza? Which makes it clear that every half of the boy belongs to each separate chatzer. If you're building the wall above the water, it's you only need one tafak going into the water. If you're building the mechitza from the bottom of the spit, that means it's submerged in the water. You need to have one tafak protruding above the pit. In order for it to be nikedes, rishus zem rishus zem. If you have a beam, that's, uh, 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 guys, this is the boyd. A beam would be this, just this. It's not a mechitza, but it's just a cross beam. It just makes it clear that, that, that if I live in this chatzar, I'm only going to put my bucket through this side. It separates the opening. That's enough of a hekin. Um even though Avapita, the waters are completely you don't have a mechitza going at least one tafach into it. And that's just another one. Normally, a mechitza taloi is not called. Is that the same concept as a lachi and a kura? No, not no, a lachi. No. Same, because you have a vertical hecker. Yeah, but the, but the vertical, the mechitza has to go into it. Correct. But the idea is it's not actually dividing. Correct. It's, it's not actually dividing. Quite a, yeah. Yes. Now was the picture came out before. So you have a, a well that's in a path that's in between the walls of opposite chatzeres. I just want you to know that this shvil belongs to both of them. Pachus if it's less than four tvachim, vaday muter. Here, even if it's four tvachim, that means that people walk around the bird from both sides. Nevertheless, shnei yemimalim yemenu, ve'ein tzirichem lo hitzi ziz in al gabo. You don't have to put out the ziz. She'ein, why? Because it's coming, because when you're here, when you're filling up the uh, bird, how are you getting to it? You're drawing good. You, you're not standing near it. Have to go from the airspace. She ain't all the way says, Have a better Havi. Since you're Mustamish, it's Avir or Dera Haloin, right? Then one doesn't ask around the other. Everything that we spoke until now, like the thickness of the wall, which is a classical case, both people have access to it. But this is outside your Chatzar. This is outside your Chatzar? Yes. So, so, how are you allowed to access it? It's a separate Rishus So, that has to be a separate Rishus It also belongs, yeah. Yeah. But there's no Eruv. But you're, but you're bringing it through. It's coming from a Rishus HaYachid to your Rishus HaYachid through the airspace. That's it. Halach Abdal. Chatzar Katana. Shenifret Sivim Loi Luchatz Kedan Lobayd Yoyim. Prior to Shabbos, now if you remember, we're getting Hilchah Shabbos, we learned about the Pasim HaYoytzim Shnei Tzadadam. So if you have a, a small room going into a big room, so from the perspective of the small room, that entire wall is non-existent. They're open. If you are inside the larger room, if you have some of the wall of each side still standing, so when they look into the inner yard, they even see a wall on each side in that direction as well. So indeed, 
as long as they made an Edo for themselves, the Mutin, they don't consider themselves adjacent to or connected to the Chatzar Katana. Why? From their perspective, they're sectioned off. But the Anche Katana, they have to join everyone together because the Yudin shall do the Chashuva Miktano, the Ain, the Yudin Katana Chashuva Miktano. Final Allah Chafe. Kaishte Chatzedois, Sheedwa Edovech, Adar Chapesa Shebene, Adar Chaloin. So we began this Pedic with, with the din that if there is a Pesach or a Chaloin, it's Kavalik. It doesn't force them, it doesn't prohibit them. They have an option, and they did that option. And they were ma'arif together. And during Shabbos, v'nista ma'pesach ayach halayim v'shabbos. So now they cannot walk one to the other. Now does that mean that they completely lost the Eruv? Kol achas v'achas mutaretz la'atzma. Hoyil v'hutra mixa Shabbos, hutra kula. Wow. Now, case number two in Allah HaChafei. The opposite. There were two chatzedahs, she'ed v'zula atzma v'zula atzma. You know why? Because there was a wall in between them. They, they were not allowed to combine. There wasn't even an option. And during Shabbos, the wall falls down. You know what the din is? Everyone is still allowed to carry up until where they were allowed to carry prior. Until where Ad Until where the wall was standing. Same rule. Hoyl. You can argue during Shabbos, now that the wall collapsed, there are more people living in this Chatzim. Doesn't, doesn't bother me. What happens if during Shabbos a window was opened or a door was open? Or Goyim did it. This is going back to the first case that they were originally all combined. So he's saying now that it was reopened, they they invited go from the other chatzir because before Shabbos they were ma'ad of all together. And similarly, that there was a, a rope tying one to the other, and people would go from one ship to the other over these ropes, and which is like a pesach, it's like a plank, and they went ahead and they made an eruv. So they were allowed to carry each one for the other ship. And during Shabbos, the ropes were untied. So now, because right now, but, but, and because it was the binding of the ships that allowed them to make the Eidu. But therefore, the point is that as long as it's done the Shaygig, then at the concept of you go back to the way it was in the beginning of Shabbos. Pedic Dalit is going to be a whole Pedic speaking about various specialized cases of Eidu. And then Pedic Hay, as we'll see, will be about a Mavoy, a sheet of Mavoys, and making Eidu in the whole Medina, what we call today a city Eidu. Okay, Chaver Pedic Dalit. Now we had the previous one at 25. Now we're going from Machayel al Choyel. Now we're going into 27 halachas. Make a big Lachayim on coffee, whatever you need, because you really have to help up for every, almost every uh, halacha is another mission. It's another whole sugi in the Gemara. Pedic Dalit halachal. Guys, there are many houses opening up to one chatzar, and they always eat in one of the houses. Rule number one is Why? How great is that? That's a very, a very practical Allah. Next. Even when your wife has her own little house, even if your Ebed has his own house, because you're one family. Why? The Rebbe spoke about this halacha by saying, uh, you know, that Eruv means really all Yidin are connected. What, what, what's the din of an Eruv? An Eruv means that without making an extra effort to be out of each other, we're separated. It says the moment Yidin are like-minded, that we all lead off the same Shulchan we, then we don't even have to make an effort, which is so emes. Like the sukkah. Like the sukkah. Yes, yes. There we go. Halacha base. Another din, if everyone from this Chatzah, 
You have many houses, but they don't even need to make a native because they always eat in one table, in one home. If they want to be ma'ara with a neighboring chatzir, so normally, how do you make an eruv? Every house gives its own pas, shlema. Now, again, I know that we said that you could be mezake it one for all, but if you didn't do that, everyone is giving. Here, you don't have to have every house giving their own pas because they are already considered one. Eruv echad l'kulam upas achas. Bilvad melich lo isim akasham arvan boy. Because they're all considered one de facto. Or in the reverse. The home that houses the aid of chatzeres doesn't have to give the bread. So the im hoya aid of ba etzlan, where's etzlan, guys? To any one of these homes. Aid of tzricham la'areid. Like, kamoi habay shamani kamoi aid of shenu sarachul isapas. Doesn't matter in which house you're putting the pas. We always eat in the mama's house. And, and here we have the bridid, have other houses. I don't care if the aid was put in one of the houses of the sons. Since they are considered one bias, no matter where, no one has to give. And by the way, this goes the same. Guys, we have two yards. Let's go back to the past payment. We have a yard. We have a neighboring yard. There is a Pesach. We, we, we made an Edom already. Then we decided, you know what? Let's be out of with the neighbors. Now that we already have our own Edom and we're going to combine with our neighbors, does everyone have to give a bread? No. We are already considered one. Only one bread is enough. Therefore, or in the opposite, if the edo from the chatzar is going to be left in our yard, no one has to give bread over here. Another case. Five people, right, are from a, from a yard, from a chatzar. Everyone gave bread. So now it's Gaval de Since they are all being ma'ariv, when when you're bringing over, you only have to really deposit one. Because once it was collected, then giving the bread, they're showing that they want to become one. Now, who gets to keep the other four? Who Ramam doesn't mention? Whether it has to be returned. Or whether the shliach, that's the tip, I don't know. Okay, halacha hey. Ha'avu b'na'ay another din. A father and a son. And a rab and a stalmut. That live in the same yard. E'nam tzirichim lo'arev me'pnei shem kabayis echad. Even though. She'po'amim o'ichlam al-shulchan echad. U'po'amim e'na o'ichlam. The Ramam doesn't say that if. It doesn't say that even if they never eat their one. That he doesn't say. But if it's like a father and a son. Or a rab and a stalmut. Even if it's only sometimes eating on shulchan echad. They are already connected. In other words, the connection that we have to a, to, to family and to a Rebbe is already stronger. You don't have to make effort to be ma'arav. Ha'achim, brothers, that they all have their own house. They're not being supported by the father, which also means they're not eating around the father's table. If you have people, a man has many wives, and it's a, it's a marriage set up where he's not supporting all of them. Right, we're going to learn this dinam anuchas nasha. Whether a wife can tell her husband, you know, don't do me a favor, don't support me, and uh, my my siyadaim belongs to me. They they eat around this table as payment. Right, or the rabbi, even though he's not, it's a setup where he doesn't support them. But sometimes when he wants to express gratitude for something, at times they eat by his table. So Hebre, here's the rule. If they are the only ones living in this yard, so they're partially combined. And therefore, to be consistent with that, if they are going to join another yard, it goes together. Only one bread is enough. And if the eight of us coming to them, none of them have to give bread. However, that they're the only ones there, exclusive. But if you have also others, then because she'en soimchen al shulchan echad tamid. In other words, the yoyim acherim oisim aleim. That was that topic. Halacha zayin chamesh chaburois. 
Great case. People are traveling. They, Danny's looking at the clock over here. And they came to this big building. Now, the big building means that there's like a center dining room. And every family is taking its own side. This is not a proper hotel with side rooms. The dividers are not that great. When do we consider them each one living in like in a separate dira? And the common area is like a chaser, which it is, demanding a native chaseris. If, if what separates everyone's private quarters is a wall that goes all the way up to the ceiling, now that's a bona fide batim and a chaser. And therefore, for them to carry from their, so to say, room until the middle area, but you have these uh, office walls. Why? So all of them are now, guys. We're speaking about. There's also a chutzner there, and there's other batim. So then, all of them are considered one. My tip. It's somewhere inside. We're talking about. Oh, it's like a big dining hall. No, 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 no. It's talking about. And uh, are they one? Not inside. Do they have to give each one a bread to be out of with someone else? That yard has other homes. So they're considered separate bottom if, there's a, if the wall goes until the ceiling and if the wall doesn't go until the ceiling. Huh? It's inside. The whole thing's inside. Doesn't matter. So think about it. Think about it. If people have, you know, when they were refugees from war, there's a big room, but every family wants to take another corner and they built a makeshift wall. If it goes until the ceiling, then everyone is considered a different bias. And there is a yard in the front, and there are other houses there. Okay. If I have um, in, 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 in someone else's house a beishar, a gatehouse that many people walk through, or an achsadra, or a marpesas, or a base bucket, or a base atomized, the din is going to be hareze eno oiser olav. His ownership of such a type of room doesn't forbid, right, other people from carrying from their bottom to their chatseris because I did not participate in the aid of chatseris. My ownership is not a proper bias. For me to be a member of that courtyard, I have to have a dira, which is defined by pitoy, place where I'm going to eat a meal. Then, until I make an Eruv. Aval, if all I own is a little structure which is used for sleeping, you heard? Aval, makim lina in oise. Lefikach, even, even, im kavol lay makim lechol bayi be beis hashar, if I decide to use my beishar, my gatehouse, into a, a little corner for me to eat my lunch. Oi, ba'am, I'm presses, ain't no oise, all of the fish, ain't no makim dira. In other words, it has to be a makim dira that is used for eating. Just making a, 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 a place that everyone is walking through the whole time, and, but I'm going to eat there. Doesn't make it into a market deal. But I don't have to. I don't have to sleep there. Halacha it does. I saw the bottom zulu femizu. So now zulu femizu is where you can only get to the inner one by going through the outer one. So the outer one can become a beishar. We just said a beishar does an aser. So now there's a phenomenon. This was a common thing. I feel bad. People didn't have privacy. But the beauty is, think about it. How many people have to be ma'arav over here? So it says the namam only the innermost house and the second to last innermost house, they are the only ones that have to be mishtatev in the Eruv. Again, Shukim, we're not speaking about carrying in the house since it's all around the, the walls. No, we're, we're not speaking about from the house into the center area. But if that's a house and there's another house and there's a third house and they want to go from that from this house into the Chatzur, all of the Ador Eru ones, they are viewed as livers in a Beishar, even though they live there. You can't live it. Halachically, it's not called living in a, in a walkway. Now, what's beautiful? So why didn't you say that even the second to last, the tenth guy walks through the ninth guy? No. If there's only one, I don't think yachat means one person. Yachat probably means one home. Guys, every chatzer, don't forget, has to have two houses or more. So aside of every chatzer having two houses or more houses, aside of that, 
Ubeneim Shloy Shabbatim. Let's see if Kevin can find a picture. All right. What separates two chatzeders? So we began yesterday, uh, not yesterday, today's first chapter. A wall. You don't have a wall. What separates these two chatzeders, guys, is not one home. Halt cup. Not two homes, three homes. These are separate from the two that are each to define them. That's, that's, that's what I wanted to point out. Every chatzeder has to have two bottom. Seven houses. Uh, yeah. I can argue that maybe, maybe one other house with the one adjacent makes it into two. And you can work through everything. They view, now what happened? They view, no, no, let's go like this. Every house, just to make it simple, has another two houses. Every chatzar has another two houses. Now, every chatzar has to deposit the food somewhere. So where do they deposit it, these chachamim? They didn't deposit it in the house that opens up directly to the chatzar. They deposited it, they went into that house, and they put it in the middle. Then the guys from the other Chatzar also decided to deposit their, their pass in this structure, but they didn't put it in the house that's closest to them. They didn't put it in the apple. They put it in the middle. But none of the two outer houses were mishtate. Why not? Let's go. The middle house. The middle house. He's the house that you left the eight of him. The other two houses. I want to emphasize there's two other houses in each chatzah. That's key. Two other houses. That I'm already passing that if not one house, but if two different homes are using my home as their passageway, my house bechlal is not bechayif to have a neighbor. I'm called a beishah. Now, if they wouldn't have put it in the middle, I would not have ruled my house to be a base shop. But since they placed it in the middle, so they are working through it. Now, Yudal, for now, don't you? Shnei chatzeir is the same case. Uchnei batim suchem zelazeb in am, and in the middle you don't have three; you have two. And why you'll see why the Rambam is saying it. And they view eli ruvim derech habayis apsuch lemini chulu habayis hashenis amul chatzar acheres. These are chachamim. They made a zigzag. They didn't put it in the house closest to them. They, the guys on the right, put it in the house on the left. The chatzim from the left put it in the house on the right. They view eloed from the chapes of the lavin and by his acher shteim lekanu eidav. Now it's even worse. What's even worse? No one has an eidav. Why doesn't anyone have an eidav? An eidav has to be placed where in a bias. An eidav cannot be placed in a beishar. <laughs> Everyone became a beishar. Shekol echel mehem in yichayru a beishar shulchan acheres. Genius. Halacha yudbeis. Why doesn't the first one work? None of them worked because both of them were placed in the Beishar. But the first one... Because it was done in the middle. The middle house, no one is going through the middle house. That's right. So the first house that got placed wasn't brought... Wasn't doesn't matter. Both of them were placed from before Shabbos. It was made to be Beishar after the year before. Both of the Erubim were placed by Beina when Ben Shmoshes went into Shabbos. But it would, that's when the Erub goes into effect. Halacha Yilbeis. Echem Ebnei Chatzor Shari Goisei. Someone is a Goisei. He's on the death roads. Even though he won't live throughout the Shabbos, since he's alive when Shabbos comes in, the Ramam is being practical. He's not giving bread. He's a goises. So, but he has to be included. So someone should uh, be mezakit for him. And likewise, if a, if a cotton owns one of the houses, he's one day old. He can't even eat the bread. I don't care. He owns a house in this chatzar. However, an oireich or a oireach, however you pronounce it, ain't oisel oilam. Come on, should be arno. That the whole the whole bittle works because of an oireach. Allah hu yidiyam. Erech l'menei chatzar. Sheniach beisoi prior to Shabbos he left his house. This is important. Allah hu al Shabbos He went to spend Shabbos in another place. If you remember in the Gemara, we differentiated between if you're spending Shabbos with your daughter or with your daughter-in-law, that was the halacha. That when you go to your daughter, you plan to stay there for the whole Shabbos. If you go to your daughter-in-law, there's a likelihood you're going to come back home. But this is time you went to another place. It's nearby. If you decided not to come back on your house, guys, how great is this? Guys, this is the rule. It's called Dira. 
This is such a good uh, review on Hilchas on the Sechta Seder. The, you get it? A house that doesn't have someone living in it is not called a dira. So his non-participating doesn't bother me. That a Jew is the owner of the house and a Yid doesn't come back on Shabbos. Even if you want Lishbois be Iracheres, he's not bound by Hilchas Shabbos. He, you know, he's born. Shabbos is a day of travel. Then he, he's, his, his being, his ownership there is problematic. Now, we already learned, you never make an Eidu with a Goy. You have to do the Schiris, but do the Schiris. You own many houses here and you rented them out, but you left your property in it. The presence of the renter who is there, who did not participate, is not a problem if the owner participated. That's only if you left something that may not be moved on shops, like Tevo or blocks of the glass or whatever. But if he left stuff in, in the homes, but it's something that may be transported, could be the, the renters, they rented the whole house. They have the right to kick his stuff out. Even though when Shabbos came in, his stuff was there, no, not good enough. All of the fact that there's a renter and he's the balabas when he's renting it, he asks. They forgot. So what happens? Like we're going to foundational walls. The, you know what happens if there's no eight of aim? Might see him. But they will chutz it. We loy me chutz it lebotayim. Avol. The talkmanim came with shofz of chutz it. We just mentioned this in the last chapter. Even though there was no eight of chutz it, if something, if your chair, your outdoor furniture, you want to move it. You can move it around in the chatzit, the whole chatzit. Uba koil hanechshav emachatz. Now he's adding another one. And in all of the extensions of the chatzit, like we spoke a little bit about, if there's like a third area, if it's given over to this chatzit, then you can even move it in there. The im ha'isa shamar peses. If there is a porch or a aliyah, all right. And the eid vo anshi a chatzit la'atzman va ashma peses la'atzman. In a case. Where there's ten fachim separating them, so they did not need to combine together. Anche hamir peses, so anche alia metaltlin kalem shachavs with b'teim b'chol hamir peses, and and everything that will be included in the porch. Oi b'chol roicha vo alia b'chol shvima. The anche achatzim metaltlin b'chol achatzim b'chol nefesh shvima. But they will be forbidden to carry from the courtyard to the upper story. Okay, no, without an eruv. Guys, there are only two people there. One guy is downstairs. One guy is upstairs, and they did not make an eruv. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now, what's this? What are we talking about? He's giving many, many more examples of this third area that is connected to one or the other. Because if it's connected equally to both, we already learned. If they were not ma'ariv, then no one can carry from here to there. Halacha tazayin ketzen. If you have a rock or you have a mound, the chayot that's inside the yard, it's like this. If it's not ten tvachim tall, who does it belong to? Hadei l'shavim bein hadei hei nechshavim bein achatzer ubein amir peses. Huh. Interestingly, it's considered equal access to both, and therefore ushneim asudam loitz shisham kelim shubabatim. We already learned Kalem Shabbat Chatzar anyways can be moved from the Chatzar to the top of the wall. We already learned that. But if something began at the house, because this mount, the Merpes is some sort of porch, and 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 and, and if, even though it's not Gavoya Sara Tvachim, they have, have the same easy access as people on the porch. The people on the porch go down, the people on the Chatzar bring up. I know that, again, going up, we said it's harder than down, but the Rama Paskin, it's considered the equal access. But, but if it's ten tvachim tall, which means shuki, it's removed from the benayah chotzer. And v'hoi b'nei m'bein amir peses, not height, but distance, less than four tvachim. So the guys on the porch had easier access. That's the that's the v'chol hanechshav imo. Harei elo shavim m'amar peses. Sharei heim shavim lo, because the top is aligned with it. Ubenei amir peses mutalim behem. But if it's far away from the Pesach for Tvachim, or more than for Tvachim, 
even though it's 10 Tvacham above the ground of the Chatzin, neither of them have easy access, which means it's again equal. It's equally difficult. So it's equal. No, no. Not, not its own. Since they both have the same easy access or difficult equal access, so, yeah. it's considered part of both. And therefore, the other one can't use it because from Kalem Shushav Shubin Botayim. That's another. Don't don't forget that rule. But anything that began in the Chatzur can go there. Hello, about Hoisa Matzeva. If you have a pillar that's wide for Tvachim, which important, which is in front of the Marpeses, Ein Amar Peses. In other words, this pillar also serves as some sort of mechitza. Why not? Because, because that pillar separates the merpesas from everything that's in the yard, including the mound. In other words, so the rock, whatever it is, belongs to the merpesas. Projections or sills. I guess, kosher lamatamasar tvachim. Under ten tefachim belongs to the bnei achatz, and therefore bnei achatz mishtam shavoy. Anything that's within ten tefachim from the top story, hasmuchem la Guys, again, we're speaking about a, a case where the bnei aliyah did not make an aid with the bnei achatz. So then the anshe aliyah mishtam shavoy. What about all of the sills in between? And in other words, shilshul and zrika we paskin is equal halachically. They both have equal difficult access. Halacha yutches. Barsha b'chatzin. If there's a pit, im hoya mali peiros tvalim sho asul al tafel mishabes because it's asur b'achilo. V'chayyot zboi harei hu v'chul liyasei kasela. So so that table fills up. What happens is it filled it filled it up and it went above it. And sometimes when you have a bird around the bird, there's a mound of earth. So all of that is considered part of the ground. I tell if the total height is 10 and it's near the Mepesis, then it's part of the Mepesis. Abol, if it's filled with water, ah. Now, filled with water means water is there to be used by both domains, even though that theoretically the fruit is also meant for both, but since it's halachically muksa, because it's table, it's like it's earth. So it's just like a mound. But if it's water, because they both have equal access and it's not going through that achavir. It's in their property. You have two uh, yards, one inside the other. One inside the other means that you can only get into the inner one by going through the outer one. Anche apnimis. Oh, yoitzim chazam v'nei achet zayinu. So he says, "Erev apnimis." Guys, you have to understand something. Every chazer has its own batim. Anche erev apnimis v'loy erev achet zayinu. Apnimis muteres because they made an eruv and v'achet zayinu asura. What's the beauty? The beauty is, is that since the ones who did not make an Eruv are not going through the inner one, they don't prohibit it for them. But contrast, Eruv HaChitzoyno, you would argue, Eruv HaChitzoyno, the people that live in the outer yard, they can carry from the houses to the yards. They cannot. Why? Because HaPnimius Mereshulay Eruv. Guys, this is the rule. Regal, Nani, Regal ho asura be mekoima, o isara sholei be mekoima. Regal ho asura be mekoima, the Pnidias cannot carry from their house to their uh, to their huts. They're going through the outer one. Since they have the right of way through the outer one, since they are asin in their own, they asin even sholei be mekoima. That was the cloud. Remember these rules in the Gemara. Oh, uh, um, erva, zula, atzum, zula, atzum. If everyone made their own eruv, then I don't care by the fact that the chetzonim, that the premium are going through the chetzonim. Zuma teres on the zuma on the Everyone is allowed on their own. Aval ema talkin on the because they were not out of together. Ooh, we have to move. Halacha chav. Now, shachach echad min chetzonim v'la eruv. If even only one of the outer one did not do an eruv, so a premium bet eruv medes because since the premium made an eruv. Right? So since 
Eino Eisar Shalei Mekayma. Now, what about the Chitzonius? I mean, if they're going to do a bit of the Shus, they're good, but if not, that they can't carry. But what happens in Shachach Echem and Bnei Apnimius for Lei Eid Evi Moem? Then again, Af Achitzayni Asura. Because of this rule that the moment you have people that are not allowed to carry in their Makayim, they are Oisid Shalei Be Mekayma. Bnei Eilu, Bnei Apnimius, Shalei Olam, Eid of Shem Oivim Aleom. Even though the outer ones made an Eidov, Halacha Chafal of Asur Shtem Eidov Echad, if they both made, both court guards made one Eidov, where do they place it? If they placed it in the outer Chatzar and the Shachach Echad from the outer Chatzar and he did not make an Eidov, then Shohoyim Ibn Echad Sayyna, and no matter who forgot Ibn Echad is, but Chavra, where, where is the Eidov accepted? Where was the Eidov placed? In the outer courtyard, so then stay in Masurais. Why stay in Masurais? You didn't put it in the bites because, because let's read footnote 10 over here. The Eidov is not acceptable in the inner courtyard because it's not located within the courtyard itself. It's not acceptable from the outer courtyard because someone in the outer courtyard, because some of the inhabitants of that courtyard did not participate. However, odd now, Vital will always work. Now, if it's placed inside, even though someone from the outside did not make an Eidu, which taken means that what? That the outer ones are Asur. But the Pnimius from Teres Because the outer ones are not walking through the inner ones. So this cloud, it's all based on this cloud. Why? Because since someone from the Pnimi is forgot, call her Asura be Mekayma, Asur is even Shalai be Mekayma. Allah Chav Beis. Ho ya echad dar b'chatzer zu, ve'echad dar b'chatzer zu. In other words, you have these two courtyards, one inside the other. How many people are living there? Only one, one and one. Einam tzricham lo'arev, elokal echad mehem mishtamish b'chal chatzei do'ay. Because there's only one person there. However, that's where we're going to go back to what we learned yesterday. It must be because there are two Yidin living in the outer one. That must be the case. To remember that if there's one and one, we learned yesterday, it's not a problem. Two yidn are living in the outer one. One guy lives in the inner one. Exactly. Three chatzedes open one into the other. Now, there's another nuance in halacha chav gimel, which makes things very exciting. This will be a new scenario where each of these chatzedes have their own opening to the Rishul Sarabim. That has to be this case, as you'll see. So each of these chatzedes, guys, one opens to the other, and each one can also go out to the Rosh Hashanah. That's the Rabbim b'chol chatzim. Eid v'shtay machetzoyinis imam tzoyis. Now, since they have a Pesach, so what did we learn in the last chapter? Optional. What happens if the outer ones... This is Rabbim b'chol chatzim. There's a lot of people in... I know that, but it must be this case also. What happened here was that the outer chatzar made a joint with the with the middle one. The other side joined with the middle one. So you know, so what might one say? Oh, there's a problem. Why is there a problem? Because since the two outermost one did not make an eight, which means you cannot take something that began in a bias of one side and bring it to a bias of the other side. Maybe you should answer the whole thing. We don't say that. We say it's fine. He mutaras imam, the he mutaras imam. The inner one, it's effective. He can, everyone from the middle can go to the right. Everyone from the middle can go to the left and vice versa. Even though Now, a new case. Here, that's the Ram, Danny, very good. In every Chatzar, only one person was there. Even though many people are going through the outermost one, only the outermost one is open to the Rishul Sarabim. Here, only the outermost one is open to the Rishul Sarabim. 
Eins Richam Laaruf. You don't have to make an Eruf. Shekol Echad Mehem Mutter B'Mekoymoy. In every Chatzel, there's only one person living there. One person in that property does not demand an Eruf. I, the innermost one, and the inner innermost one go through there, it doesn't matter. Hoyu Shnayim B'Pnimi is... And that means that these two Bepnimias, they have to make an Eruv with each other. What did we learn before? That if you are, if you are Aser B'mekoyma, you Aser Shaloi B'mekoyma. Gavaldi. Hoi Lom Aser B'mekoyma, and Ache Yo'ar Vareim Ha'osim Ali Yechinu Shalom Tzayish Vachetzayin, Ache Yo'ar Vareim Ha'osim Because of the cloud. Regal Ho Aser B'mekoyma, Aser Shaloi B'mekoyma. Regal Ho Aser B'mekoyma, Aser Shaloi B'mekoyma, Pnei Shei Vareim Ha'osim Ali. Halach Abdal. Now you have two balconies. Shtei kitsuts tera ois zula mila mizu. Both of them are over water, and what we learned in Elchas Shabbos, one of the mechitzas that we are very lenient in, is that when I want to take water out of the yam, which is aser midrabanan because it has a din of a karmelis, me karmelis for the shusayachad is aser. All I need to do, remember that interesting mechitza. Either you build four walls going over your hole. We say good aches. Or we have four mechitzes that go under the wall. They don't even have to touch the water. And you can draw the water up. Here the challenge is that I'm going through the, 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 my neighbor's balcony. One is above the other. It's going to be prohibited. Why? Because we were not ma'ar of me and the bottom balcony was not ma'ar of one with the other. Very good. If they are within 10 t'fachim, because they are considered like one kizustra achas, but the im, how you been all in the t'fachim, and each one, the eight was all as a atzma, then shtay mutaras l'mal asmai. Halacha chafei. If the top guy didn't make this mechitza, the bottom one did so. So now, just like we learned the rule, Danny, that, that the regal, asura b'mekoyma, asura shaloi b'mekoyma, m'pnei shedli shal b'nei aliyah sheim asura m'sho ever la. The upper one is like the inner chatz. The other one is like the inner chatz. Asa so al yoyna mechitza, v'lesa tachtoyna. The tachtoyno doesn't go through the olioyno, so then olioyno mutaras lamalis to turn asura. The im the shtat for bnei tachtoyno bnei olioyno bemechitza shosu. Now shtei masura is now it becomes even worse. Why does it become worse? Because now they are considered one property. You know, it's if they both participated in the mechitza, that mechitza, not not hilchas shabbos. If they both own that mechitza, now they must combine together. Because they both own that mechitza. You have three, uh, you have three stories. Big yichas then. The top story and the ground story belongs to one person, and the middle story belongs to someone else. They, they, they would push it. They would go through your. Imagine the privacy. They would, they would go down. They would, go down, they would be little holes. You can't go through the middle one. They did not, they were not ma'arif. Final halacha of Zayin, you have two buildings facing one the other, facing one the other, and there's a courtyard in between them. That they use that courtyard for both of them to pour their sewage water. No one is carrying something, but they want to use it to pour the water. They need to make an aid of chatzedes. However, what happens if they made no aid of? But some people chipped in together and they made a sewer pit in their chatzed. Since they built it, it's theirs. And the other ones that didn't make it, now, what happens if each one made their own uka? They didn't make an eid of chatzedus. They also elo uka va also elo uka kol achas vi achas b'shteim shayfchem uka shola afa pi shaloi ervu gavaldik chevra pedekei. Now we're moving on. This is going to be the final chapter dealing with eidov and shituf. Tomorrow's all three chapters, which will be the final chapters, is going to be about eid of tchumen. Now we're still learning this. Now we're going to go into a shituf muvais as we had on the previous chapter. Various unusual 
scenarios regarding the sheet of voice. And we're going to learn about making a city Eruv. And a certain chumrah we have in certain scenarios. That the Raman Paschal's wife. Of needing to leave one area in the city where no one is going to be using the Eruv. Or they make their own Eruv. That you cannot carry. Pedikei has 24 halachas. L'chaim halacha aleph. Whoever's learning three chapters should stand up and make a few push-ups. You got to wake up over here. All right. Halacha aleph. Anshei mavoi. Choi v'neim shitu v'maychel echad v'yim schoider. If they already are partners because they own a particular food. Now let's remember when we began this whole series that unlike the eight of chatseiros that you need a pas shlema to be used, a leniency by a shitu, is that many other items can be used. So they own wine, bishutfis, not connected to shops. They own oil, they own honey. Since they are already partners, they can be shaymach on the shituf of the shayru. However, what's the concept of an eruv of a shituf? You're becoming one. The Ramam says two things. Hamin shall shoot off him by min echad and bekeli echad. I, I give you an emotion. Let's say there are 10 people that live in the Mavi. Five of them are partners who they have a wine business. Five of them are partners in an oil business. That's garnished. They all have to own the same thing. One type that's in one kale. Avalam hoya echad mehem shoot of lezebiyain. Ula acher b'shemen. You can't say this guy is out of everyone. Let's say there, there are 10 people. Four of them have wine together. Four of them have oil together. And this guy has them with both. Not good, not good. But the yain was placed, was stored in two kalim. So even though we learned above that what, that even if your shituf, if your eruv doesn't fit in one keli, if you have to put it in the second one, it doesn't bother me as long as you're not the kavana machalik. And here it's not good enough. Here you're not even making it. Here you're relying on the fact that we already own something in conjunction. That should be the Eruv. It has to be together. So the she doesn't have one of the 12-pack of bottles of wine. It can even be one because we learned that it only has the, the minimum amount needed. We learned the 16, the, the, no, no, the 18. No, no. Is that 12 kilo? Or that's hmm? one kilo? Wait a second. You're talking about last, okay, yesterday one, or today? Today. No, it has to be a one kilo. Different bottles of wine, even the same bottle. Ah, uh, Shuki's so asking what happens if it's... If it's I think one bottle of wine is already enough for everyone. What happens if the quantity needed is in two kalim? Not good. It's clear. Yeah. Not one bottle. It has to be, it has to be in one kalim. Aloha this, base. This is partners. Now, guys, let's appreciate. Part, you know what partners means? Partners means we bought schoida to sell. You can argue at the end of the world if every partner will say, since we all this together, I'm going to take a little bit home for Shabbos. By the time next Shabbos comes, there'll be nothing left to sell. But that's not good enough. So it's, if it's a type of partnership that if anyone is going to say, listen, I'm a partner here. Let me take a little bit. We'll, we'll cheshman it later. And the other guy says, you may not do that. Then it's not, it's not good enough of a partnership. In other words, guys, they are partners. It's not good to rely for the sheet of Mavois. It makes a lot of sense. Sheet of Mavois means that if I'm a partner with you, that I'm a ganza balabas. If one guy doesn't allow the other to, only to sell, no, no, you, can, you have to make a shift. You can make a shift, but it, you cannot automatically use this for the shift. Like should, should be, how should you have partners that they're not mocked with one on the other? I don't think this vav is correct. I don't know what you have in your Ramam. I think here without a vav. Guys, another thing, we kept on mentioning yesterday that you give matzah and the matzah lasts for a year. Could be. But you know what? Many times people did it every year of Shabbos. The food was ate, eaten up. So every week, everyone is giving their share. And this week, one guy did not give it. Why? Because he forgot. But since he does it every week, he wants to give. That you can go to us. Huh? Correct, correct. Against his will. Very good, very good. Because his not he, his non-participation ruins it for everyone. He did it until now, so they force him. But if a guy never participated, 
then the only way you can force him is going to obey, going to adin toira. If he never was mishtatev, koifin oisei lishtatev. My guys, koifin oisei means you take him to base. But what not? You can't go into his house and take his food. Now, also understand something. You can be mezaka for him. The psychology here is not so good. Be mezaka. But if you you have to give, okay, take him to base. If he gave every week, then even though you didn't participate right now, now you go into his house. Very good. He already owns something on his own. What's the chiddush? Of course, he can be mezaka. We learned to say yesterday. The chiddush is, is that he's not being mezaka something that's separated from what he owns. So the minimum share is whatever the minimum share is. It's still mixed with his own. You can, it, it's indiscernible. That's the chiddush. And it's more it. It's good enough. That's called the shit. Halachadala. Here we go. Guys, I want you to know one thing, that if you have a chatzim that can go into Mavi to the right or Mavi to the left, one thing is important to remember, unlike what we'll learn tomorrow, if this chatzim wants, they can be mishtateid with both. Yet, listen to this. Im nishtat from echon hendel vad. If they joined only one, then nesram amavi shenri. Therefore, what's a uh, pshita? No, not pshita. He's coming to a point. If you have the case that we just had before, no one is giving food. One generous person is uh, being mezaka to everyone. So to be mezaka to people that only have access from their chatzah into this mavoy, you don't even have to notify. But this chatzah, they can go out to the Rosh Hashanah using the other mavu. So tzarech lo hoidiya la'an she'i chatzer zu she'ein mishtatvim ela midatan. She'ein no zuchus lahem. Why not? Shema v'amavai Hashem yiroitzim lishtatvim v'loi bozeh. You have to appreciate something. What's the downside? I'll tell you the downside. Because if they will be mishtatvim with both, you know what would happen? People would end up going to their chatzer and from their chatzer to, the, to, to the other side they don't want for their chatzah to become a passageway. The beauty of them having the power to choose with which chatzah, with which mavi, they don't have to do with both, is that they, they um, the nutniks over there are not going to comment over here because I'm joined with the guys to the left, not with the guys to the right. How in hotels do you do this? In, no, come on. In hotels. In hotels, we pass you don't have to do anything because you don't have the right to stay in your room. They can move you from room to room. Everyone is considered an oirah. Anyways, other people say, but that's not the guy over here. Let's go right. Even though halachically, it's not her money, but very good. I like the Shlomi Dati is not Bal Korchoi. Shlomi Dati. Who Shloi? Yes, sir. Al Shchenov. Abol Imhoya Oiser. Enamar Evis Olav. In other words, if he expressed that he doesn't want to participate, he wants to make everyone the sugar, then she can't do it for him. Then she cannot do it for him. Yeah. not against this will. Kate said, I said, how, how will he answer when he says, No, guys, we learned in the beginning of this chapter. You take him to Basin. But prior to the Basin forcing him, you cannot, he has the right to say that. Allah Chavot. Neshtat for Anshi Chatzin, Zu. In echo the shneim voice again, the chutzin that opens up to this mavoi and to that mavoi. In b'min echad nishtatfu, every they're giving one type of food. Afilu kala oisa hamin hareza oisa shitub acher umezakam lahem. You don't even have to notify him because even though we learned in halacha dalad, you have to get their permission. But you got the permission last week. You see that anche chutzer zu. It participated with the mavi to the right. The food ran out. If it's mimin echad, fine. You're mezakeh. Im shnei minim nishtatfu, and only when it's mayit to oichel, then again you add to that oichel um mezakeh ve'ein etzorich lo idia. But if see guys, we're speaking about people that every week would give new food, and if every week they gave food and they combined different foods together, which means that everyone knew that their food is only going to last for this week. Then we can't say since you chose to join Mavi to the right, you will for sure want to do it again. We don't know that. 
when everyone knew the food will be depleted by the end of the week, Vim Kalum, Mizaka but the Tsarich Lohidiyam, like we learned in Allah Chadali. Netois Vushchenim Bachatzer Zoom. Also, right? Shchenim was Mazaka Lehem, but Tsarich Lohidiyam. Just because the other people wanted to join, again, there, it, it, people lose by joining a certain mob when they have another option. Some people can say, I don't want to be, I don't want to be connected to Shabbos here. I want to be connected to Shabbos there. Everyone has to consent. Halacha zayin. Neshtat v'chatz azuim b'nei mabu yizem e'pesach zem. Got invited. We're still learning about a chatzar that has two doors. That's the key here. One to the right, to the mabu, to the right. One to the mabu, to the left. V'im b'nei mabu yashem pesach acher. They could make with both. So then muteresim shneim. V'heim muterem, v'heim muterem ima. Baru shneim mabu yis asurim zal zem. Mamish like we had in the last chapter with the three chatzerois that we allow for such a thing to happen, even though, right, what's the chashash? Maybe, many, maybe people will take something from one movie through the chatzor to the other movie and to the we're not chayish that that will happen. If it did with neither, then what does that mean, guys? I'll tell you what it means. It means that just like we learned in the previous dinner, that if one bias in a chazer is not nishtati, you have a problem. You don't say, since the other people made an aid of thinking, you don't say that. If one person did not participate without bittel, it asers on everyone. If there's one chazer that opens up to the mavi to the right and mavi to the left, so if they chose with one, whichever one they wanted, I'm a chay. But if they chose with neither, the only way to get to the shusarabim is either here or there. So, so dear non-participation answers for both mavois. If they normally use one mavoi, so then they don't answer on both. Then we can argue, listen, they only use the, you know, the alley to the right, so dear non-participation is only problematic for the right. If they once made an Eruv with the other Mavoy, we don't say, since every week I did it with the right. Now I did to the left, I'm also going to do to the right. The moment there's one way for them to leave, even though they never used it until now, they no longer have to participate with the one that they always did it with. And if they didn't, they don't ask. Halacha tes. So doichin oisa eitzel ze hamavoy she ena de gilaboy. If normally they joined with one side and the bnei hachatzer that opens up to both didn't do it, so we said in principle they asked on both, but that's because they never showed a preference. Once they always show the preference, the preference, so then they can say that who, who's in trouble? The name of both can still carry. And the name of voice of that one. Now it's, it's much fairer now. No, it's one mobi is already messed up because they didn't make an Eruv. So now they can argue, let these people who join no one be part of them. Nice. And the other door is la bika. The guys, this is a bika that has no mechitzas, just to make that clear. No, it's in an area in which you may not carry. So since he cannot carry out there. He must be Mishnah. And if these Bnei Chatzar did not participate, then the Bnei HaMavi cannot argue, anyways, you're opened up to the Karpev. No, Karpev is different because a Karpev that has that size is the area in which you may not carry Bechlau. But if the Karpev was only up until Beis Hosayim, 50 Amas by 100 Amas or less, since you are allowed to carry in there, and they have such an option to go out through there, because they will say, and 
that decided lishbois b'mavi achet. What did we learn, guys? In last pedik, let's remember the words in the Gemara is that dira b'loy ba'alim eno dira, dira b'loy ba'aram eno dira. The same thing over here, eno isad alim. No difference. The chain echem b'nei mavui that he built a pillar that is wide for tefachim on his door, which makes it difficult for him to leave his door into that mavui, and he did not participate. Oichet eno isad alehem shadei hifresh atzmi mehen v'cholak rishusay halachi yudbeis. So everything we learned yesterday, my friends, regarding Vitul Rishuyos, which resolves the aid of Chatzedos, all of those rules apply to Shittat Mavayimus. The battle in the Shusim La'elu Shana Shtatfu, and the dinam will be Mamma, that's the Pedic base. The dinam La'ing and Vitul Rishus Kedin, Anshi Chatzer Shakach Mehem, Oshnaim Shalai Erbu, with all of the details we learned above. Ekvarom Arnu, Shakal Adam Im Anshi Base, Asimucham Al Shulchanai, that was Pedic, um, that was today's Pedic Dalit. And that concept not only is for aid of Chatzedes. Let's make a whole Mavui. You can say, how big Mishpacha? Or people are eating on one table. They don't know what else to make. They are already Mishutan. Allah Yudim. Mavui She'erbo Kol Chatzedes Shabai Kol Chatzed Vachatzed Bifnei Yatzmai. Vachar Kach Mishtatz Bukom Bemavui. And now, Shakach echad mi bnei chatzer v'loy edav im bnei chatzeroi. So normally, if you, if you do not participate, then you got yourself a problem. What's your problem? You got to make a bittel. Here, aside of the edav chatzeroi's, everyone participated in the sheet of muvois. So, so that really covers the. So that really, even though we learned that that only really covers it if they put it in a bias, but here it's going to be fine. Because they made a shituf and the al shituf shaimchim. I, why do you also have to make an eruv? Shloim l'shtakach. V'loi hitzricho l'arv chatzeres im ashituf elo shloim l'shakach l'tzrik asteres eruv. Everyone here, even though you didn't make it, that's good enough, Danny. Avol, if the other way around, and shachach echem l'mnei hamavi v'loi l'shtateiv. See, the eruv chatzeres doesn't cover the shituf mavois. So even though every Eidov in that Chatzar works for that Chatzar, if only one Chatzar did not join the whole Mavi, no one can carry Mechatzei Rehen until the Mavi, until they do the Bittu, whatever you need to do. Asur Ma Mavi, but a Mutl Kamei Ha Chatzar, the Talta Ma Chatzaron, Sha Mavi La Chatzarois, Ke Chatzar Labatim. In other words, just like it's Asur to take out of your house into the Chatzar, but in Eidov, that's the rules. Asur to take out from the Chatzar to the Mavi, even though we learned today, like Rab Shimon, I said not from the Chatzar to the Mavi. But not bias not That's the normal way of working, and that was They made a shit of the Mavi and the Shak No one made an eight of Khatzeris. We're very lenient for a one-time thing, Danny. But only if these are people that are not uh, the opposite of Ma'ud of Dika people. How do you know if people are Ma'ud or not? Whether they're Makhbad on eating up, can I eat up my neighbor's bread? It's beautiful. In other words, this idea, you're playing, the Rebbe spoke about this, that people that are already Ma'ud of, they don't even need to have an Eid. But Eim Atin Lavazeh Elam Mipnei Hadoicha. No, it's really this din that you have to have an Eidu placed in the Chatz and Kadesh like the Shtakach played us Eidu in the Naftinoikis is very strong. Here, no one did it one time. Okay, Halacha Yotezva. Mavu Yishulay Nishtat Vobay. No Shitu. Im Eidu Vachatzeres Ema Batim. What did we learn, guys? By in the last chapter, Halkot Chad. We learned that if no one made an Eidu Vachatzeres, no one made an Eidu Vachatzeres, the problem was only to take a Keli Shashavaz Babayis Lachatz. But if there was a keli sheshavas b'chatzer, to carry it from one corner to the other corner of the chatzer is muted. We don't say the same thing by a mavu. We don't say, since there's a lechi or an akhaira, midoy raisa b'chlal, it's already a, it's not a rishos arab. Even the, the rabbinic issue was resolved, the lechi and the akhaira, here we don't say that. If there was no shituf, ein metaltel in boy ella ba'ar ba'amas kekanamalis, but here's the key. Since, guys, what's, what, remember that Lashon of Chazal? 
בוטם וחצי נויס פסוכם לא תויכם. Look at the irony. If they would not have been an eight of Chatzeres, if there would not be an eight of Chatzeres, which means something that was Shavas, Babayas, would never even make it into the Chatzer. So we don't view this as a Mavu, because it doesn't have Batim V'chatzeres P'sucham V'toychem. But since they made an eight of Chatzeres, so that's a bona fide Mavu, even though there's a Lechi in Akira, they didn't make an eight of Ma'achar She'evo Chatzeres M'abatu. Nasa HaMavu, כאילו אין פסוח לי אלא בטן בלבד, ולא יחצי רויס. לפי כך הם מטלפו מקולי. אין המבוי ניטר בלחי וקוירה אלא אם כן בטן וחצי רויס פסוח המתוכן. אבל תראו את האירוני, ואם לא יערבו אנשי חצי רויס, ונשכנה רב חצי רויס, אינה ראשית ומבויס, אין את ליסט הכלים דת ששבס, אין המבוי, אין המבוי, אתה יכול לעבור על שבס, אם יש לך אין רויס. Just like a chach shalei erbo boy. Great. Halacha tazai. Every kachavim. Or tzedukim. That we learned about in yesterday's parakim. Hashoni b'chatsu shem amavim. So dinoi in b'nei amavim. Just like the dinner we learned in Anshim b'nei chatsu. Goi tzchiros. Or God forbid a yid that's machal shabbos b'feres yor. Oi v'ravai d'zor. Oi me'echan mi'balei b'esoi d'shu se shem amavim. Or if it's a tzeduki. He's not moi d'be'eru. The only solution by him is bitul rishus. Mevat la tzeduk. Im chayim amavi oved kachav meisrael echad. Mamish the same din since it's a davar shalish chiyach ein etzarach shituf. The din yisrael echad. The din rabim sheim soim chayshokan echad. Din echad who very good. Okay, aloch yudzayin oved kachav meisrael dar mamavoi. A guy is living in the Mavoy. Im yeish loy b'chatzei de Pesach echa b'bika. If he does have another door going into the bika, what did we learn before? That if it's a bika that's not enclosed with walls for a yid, since a Jew may not carry there, we can't say you Jew, you go out from there. But here is a guy, so his non-participation, by the way, I mean his non-schiras. That's the partition of a guy. It's not a problem. Ain't noise in Albany Amavoy. And even if the Pesach is, at least it has four by four. Tvachim. He's a businessman. He brings stuff on camels. You know, people like to have private entrances. The fact that this guy has a private entrance, he's so much on that. The only reason why we don't say this for a Jew is because since a Jew may not carry in a bika or in the carpet, that's Yoyis, my base of Sayyim, that's why he asks. Also a guy, also a guy, but if this is an enclosed area, but it's small, then the guy is not soimech because it's a small outer area. And therefore, since he will then, the guy, this is how the guy considers his main entrance way. He will consider the mavi the main entrance way. So he's a member of the mavi. By your guy, you have to do schiros. Imagine. There's a mavoi. I forgot what it's called over here. It's mass segregation. One side goy, one side yid. V'hoya chaloyna is pesuchais mechatzer lechatzer shal Yisrael, which means that the yidin are able to go from their yard to their neighbor's yard without needing to go through the mavoi. Even if it's not a door, but it's a it's a chaloyn, as we learned. B'soich b'soich, probably ten tzvachim. And they use that chaloin as we learned in today's Peter Gimel to make an Eirov. So what are you going to say? They made an Eirov, so they're considered one. One yid and one goy is not a problem. Or one yid and many goy is not a problem. We don't say that. Because this concept, Chazal made a that a guy, even though Diras Behema, we learned about that, but they made it exactly, they don't want Yidin to live with Goyim. And for this, we say that if there are two Yidin, the Begashmias or more, they're not going to be afraid to be in the Yachid with the Goyim. So they might live with the Goyim. So they demanded to make the Shirus, and you can't say halachically or Mu'urev. Now, guys, this is the final topic of this chapter. We're learning about a, a, a city wide Eruv. Here's just to speak out the concept, just like we learned. That even if you make a sheet of Muvois, you got to make an eight of Chatseris if it's not placed in a bias. Kedeshi loy lishtakach din a eruvin 
dinner heard saw from Tinoikas. If you make a city Eruv, the problem is people will forget about the Dinei Hoytzah. So in some scenarios, Lin Ambam, you have to leave one place in the city where the Eruv doesn't work there. So everyone, there you can't carry. Even though that area can make their own, their own thing on their own. That don't, that don't, that, that you have to do that. Not always, sometimes. It depends if the city belongs to Aram or if the city belongs to Ayach. Ketzad Mishtat from Bimedino. Kol chatzim v'chatzim v'rabos la'atzmam. That we already said. Shaloi lish l'shakeya chatinoikis. And that is, every chatzim has, and guys, this is placed where? In a house. It's not always have to be placed. It doesn't have to take a rotation. But everyone in this yard knows the eight of us here. Now, the beauty is, is that we learned there's a max. What's the max, guys? Like 18 gray gettas. Shisha Beitzim. And this Shisha Beitzim is not only for the B'nai Mavoy. I don't care if there's a million people here. If you're going to go, that the aid of work. Whenever the aid of works, meaning if the physical walls create, take it away from the dinner of Rosh Hashanah, some people say it doesn't work if you have people, 600,000 people or more. But however, whenever it works, then you do it for everyone. Now, here's the key. If the Medina belongs, Kenyan Yachid, guys, is a person owns the whole city. It means everyone in the city is renting from one individual. That's called a balabas. Even if later the city now belongs to a rabim, but it's known to belong of a Yachid, there's a Maras Ayan aspect. Here, we take can make mishtatim kulam shitu here, this what we spoke at in the intro that the people shouldn't forget. It's not said here. But here's the key. If the Medina doesn't belong to one individual, which is, you know, the Medinas that we know of. But still, there's only one way to get in and out of the city. It's not a big thoroughfare. It's a small Medina. Either or. Either it belongs to one person. Or it's a, or or even if it belongs to the Rabban, but it's a very small city. In the context of, there's only one Pesach in and out of the city. However, Aval Im Rabban. If the city belongs to a Rabban, which is what we're familiar with, and the Yesh Lahem Shneit Sachim or more, I don't know a single city that will have one Pesach. If it exists in America, a walled city. I don't know a walled city in America. Oh, it's a walled city with only one Pesach. Camp is not a Medina. Okay, very good. Go, good. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. So a camp belongs to, uh, to whoever owns it, to the Rebbe, Kam Gan Yisrael, and uh, that's it. But even it's not even walled, but there belongs to one person. I'm saying it's a city, Shalarabim, whatever. And the Ramah Metz, even if the guy ended up buying all the real estate, now it belongs to one person. No, no, it was a city, Shalarabim. You cannot make one shituf for the whole Medina. You have to leave one place. And that one place can even be one house in one yard. One, everyone has to know that. There, you can't take to there. Now, guys, that oisimakim doesn't only have to be one house. It can be just another area. And then I'm a man's. Those guys, let's say it's not one house. Let's say you're going to do it that block. They can make, they can make their own shituf. That's enough of a hekin. Because then no one here can carry to there and no one there can carry to here. The year, oisaman and shodim, if they want, they can make a shituf in Mekayman. Oisam la'atzman. Im hoisan and rabim. Obviously, because if it's only one yachad, you can't make a shituf. A shituf, you have to have a mavui that opens up minimally to two chatzeres and every chatzan minimally has to open up to two bat. That only has this one door, only this one door, which allows it to be considered still a smaller Medina. And there is a ladder which allows people another exit. Nah, that's not like we began in today in Patek Bay's a ladder from here and a ladder from there. That's not considered another ex, uh, uh, two exits. It's still a little city. Unlike Patek Gimel, we started today. 
a wall between Chatzedois, you have a Sula Mikan over Sula Mikan is a Pesach, not for a Medina. You don't leave a city by going up a wall. These houses that were excluded, you know, people who wants to be the one that's excluded. So he's giving a solution. Sometimes there are houses that they are in, they, 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 are, they are in the housing area, boom, their doors open up to the other side. Which means, anyways, the Gashmi is they can't walk in there. It's still good enough of a hacker. Still good. Those houses which are in the city are not part of it. It's good enough. There's only one Eruv. That means you don't have to have these two areas. Mamish, like we learned, and then you know that the one chutz of open up to two more voice. But let's what is that I'm saying in between the lines? But if you have a big, a normal big city, so there are two locations. You have, to, you have to get everyone's consent because people can say, I don't want to belong to the big group. I want to belong to the little group. I don't want everyone to come to me. Or a guy that lives in the Medina. All of these dinim is like the chatzad and the mavoi. Final halacha of Dalit. Medina, shenishtat fu kol yoshvea chutz mi mavoi yachav. One mavoi did not participate. Mamish like above. You know what happens? However, if they built some sort of pillar, we said before, that's four tfachim wide, which is like a mechitza separating them. Because everyone has to join together, unless again you do this. Uh, this you have to one part. Yeah. So if, if no, no, no. If one mavoi doesn't participate, why do you say that's the part that's? The Ramam began halach of dala. The Medina should start for kol yishvel. No, no, Danny, Danny. If 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 everyone has to join, and one mavoi didn't. Why is it? That's the part we're excluding. We're not speaking about Zuchus. We're speaking about everyone giving, giving. Everyone gave him one more we didn't give. Yeah. And one, we're speaking about an ear that everyone has to give. Everyone will give this every week. If there is a place that needs to have an exclusion, so a, a certain area can say we want to be the exclusion. But, but, but that's not the case. If there's a city that has a owned by one person, there's only one Pesach, everyone is participating. Uh, and one guy didn't, then... Medina Shanishtat will call Yoshvel. And one didn't. That's what he's talking about. There's one Pesach? In a place where everyone, all of the participants have to participate. Guys, tomorrow? I'm just saying, you just... You're just saying... 